Hi, and uh, welcome one and all. First, a big thank you to uh, Jesse Levine, uh, trumpeter from the uh, Handel and Haydn Society. That was magnificent. Nice job. <laughs> we are presenting Handel's Messiah at Symphony Hall on uh, Friday and Saturday and Sunday of this week. It is an amazing production, and I know we're all uh, very much looking forward to it. Uh, I'm David O'Leary from uh, Magic 106.7, along with my uh, co-host in the morning, Sue Tab. I am feeling extremely underdressed. <laughs> um, but very, very happy to be here as part of the uh, 2016 Mayor's Holiday Special. It's nice to see everybody here. And of course, the holiday season is pretty special to all of us at Magic because if you haven't heard, we are Boston's Christmas station. And if you haven't listened in the last couple of days, we have already flipped the switch and we are playing Christmas music 24-7 now until Christmas. So we are having a lot of fun with that. It's very festive in our studio. Um, we are thrilled today to be part of uh, Boston's holiday tree lighting on December 1st, as well as today partnering with the Mayor's Holiday Special. We want to thank everybody uh, here today, uh, shows that are represented for being a part of our kickoff event, including the Boston Ballet's production of The Nutcracker. The Back Bay Ringers. Tony Williams' Urban Nutcracker. The Boston Pops Brass Quintet. Nice job. Jose Mateo Ballet Theater's production of The Nutcracker. And Langston Hughes' Black Nativity. We'd like to take a moment now to uh, ask you to join us in welcoming uh, the Executive Director of Arts Boston, uh, Catherine Peterson, who is responsible for producing this incredible initiative. She's going to share some details with us all. Catherine, please. Thanks so much, David and Sue, um, for sharing your morning magic with us here today. And thank you, everyone, for joining us. We're so excited about the 13th annual Mayor's Holiday Special, and we're thrilled to share it with you here. I wanna start by thanking Art Zemerson and the team here at the Paramount Center for hosting us. And of course, uh, Lee Pelton, uh, president of Emerson College. Lee, where are you? Can you give us a wave? Thank you so much for uh, the support that you give the entire arts community. We're here to ring in the holiday arts season with the Mayor's Holiday Special. Arts Boston with the City of Boston and the Greater Boston Convention and Visitors Bureau created Mayor's Holiday to encourage people to enjoy Boston during the holidays, to see a show, to go to dinner, and to invest dollars in the local economy. Mayor's Holiday has been a powerful economic driver, but it's much more than that. The arts are a way for communities to gather and to celebrate together. Our family and friends, with them, we share a special night out or a matinee and create those holiday memories that last a lifetime. This year, Mayor's Holiday Special is shining a light on local productions and we are highlighting an incredible amount of talent and creativity that exists in our city. Here's how Mayor's Holiday works. We make it easy. We put all of the holiday shows together for purchase on our mayorsholiday.com website and also at our two Arts Boston Bostix booths at Copley Square and Faneuil Hall Marketplace. We make it affordable with thousands of discount tickets along with a calendar of free events and we have great dining deals. And we make sure there's something for everyone. There's Black Nativity, which we'll be hearing from, the longest running production in America of Langston Hughes' Gospel Play, which will be performing here at the Paramount Center in December. And there's Christmas Celtic Sojourn at the Cutler Majestic just down the street, and our friends at Christmas Revels over at the Sanders Theater. And we have the best nutcrackers in the country. What an unbelievable variety, including the Boston Ballet's Nutcracker next door at the Opera House, Jose Mateo Ballet Theater's Nutcracker just down the street at the Cutler Majestic, and also at the beautiful Strand Theater, and Tony Williams' Urban Nutcracker with that magnificent Duke Ellington jazz arrangement of Tchaikovsky's 
uh, score, which is at Hancock Hall. How lucky are we? And how lucky are we to have Keith Lockhart and the Holiday Pops at Symphony Hall? We have Handel Messiahs, both from the Handel and Haydn Society and Boston Baroque. And we've got Boston Gay Men's Chorus with their Jingle All the Way program at Jordan Hall, and of course the Back Bay Ringers. So in addition to that, there are favorites like Blue Man Group and Sheer Madness and the pull out all the stops at the holidays. So it's easy, it's affordable, there's something for everyone. We have thousands of ticket deals available to more than 500 performances between now and New Year's. That's 500 opportunities for families and friends to create holiday memories. So whether you're looking for a traditional holiday experience or something new, we encourage you to check out mayorsholiday.com. The arts are a critical part of what makes our city thrive. At Arts Boston, we want everyone to be able to experience these productions. And the Mayor's Holiday Special truly is a gift. It's the ability to make those amazing shows available and accessible to everyone so they have a chance to enjoy the uh, joy that, fam that holidays bring to us during this season. So we have people to thank for this gift and our partners in creating happy holiday memories, starting with the Highland Street Foundation, and who's our presenting sponsor again this year. And Mr. McGrath, may I? Thank you, it's a little hard with the lights. Um, Mr. McGrath, you and your family are so generous to the city of Boston, and you understand what it means for a child to uh, experience a holiday show for the first time. We talked a little bit about um, the fact that your Nutcracker, your family went to the Nutcracker when uh, you were children. So thank you for all that you and your team at the Highland Street Foundation do to support Mayor's Holiday Special. And thank you to Blake Jordan and Noreen McMahon also for the Highland Street Foundation. And of course, our partners at the Mayor's Office of Tourism, Sports and Entertainment and the Greater Boston Convention and Visitors Bureau. Big shout out to you and appreciation also to the Mass Cultural Council and also to Bank of America, who's giving us an amazing amount of visibility through the uh, Bank of America ATM screens this year to let people know about Mayor's Holiday Special. And our media partners for helping us get the word out so friends and family can plan their experiences. The Boston Globe, Boston.com, Magic 106.7, WCVB-TV, Boston Central, and our buddies at Faneuil Hall Marketplace. So we've got the holidays with us now. We've got a very special way to enjoy them in a very special place, Boston. And we have an administration that's committed to the arts because the arts make our city thrive. Please join me in welcoming the man who puts mayor in mayor's holiday special, <laughs> Mayor Boston's mayor, Marty Walsh. Thank you, Mayor Walsh. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Catherine. And Catherine pretty much uh, has all my remarks done, so thank you very much for coming today. <laughs> Uh, I want to thank uh, David O'Leary and Sue as well, Sue Tab from Magic 106.7. And David, you, you, you wore the red sweater, so you can't, you fit right in. You know, so you, you look good. I wore the wrong colors today. So, uh, but I want to thank Magic uh, for, uh, for not just being a sponsor here, but also for flipping the switch over. So it's good to get those songs. I want to thank Kathy Darwin uh, from the Greater Boston Visitor and Con Convention Bureau. Um, thank you very much for your support. I want to thank all the performers here. Uh, these young people were outside freezing cold so we could get the right picture on the marquee outside. <laughs> so I want to thank them and all of our special guests from the Nutcracker that's joining us. Uh, this is the 13th annual uh, Mayor's Holiday Special. And um, I know that the, the partners, uh, Catherine already thanked a lot of the partners, but I want to just give a couple shout outs to the Highland Street Foundation. Um, they truly do uh, do a tremendous amount in our city and support so many different initiatives. And I know we're into the colder months, but in the summertime, uh, they have so, we have so many things going on in our parks because of Highland. So I want to thank David and the McGrath family uh, for everything you do. 
Uh, I want to thank Bank of America. Michal Chamberlain, the president of Bank of America, Ma Massachusetts, is with us today. I want to thank Michal and his team uh, at Bank of America for continuing a great tradition. Um, Lee Pelton, I want to thank you too, Mr. President, for letting us be here last week, but also today in everything that Berkeley does. And that doesn't mean I don't love all the other sponsors. Thank you very much for everything you do. The Mass Cultural Council, Faneuil Hall, the Convention Center Bureau, Arts Boston, all of our media sponsors. Thank you very much because you truly do help us. Um, this is a special tradition in the city. Uh, this is something that, that I look forward to because it begins uh, a very happy time in, in our city. Uh, regardless of what's happening in the world, so it's important for us to remember what, what's going to happen over the next four weeks in the city. The Nutcracker, the Urban Nutcracker, Black Nativity, all of the performances that, that our young people are going to do in our city and bring joy to a lot of families, a lot of tradition and history as well when families go and, and see these different performances. Uh, Boston comes alive during this time of year. Uh, it's alive all the time, but this time of year really is incredible. Uh, we're going to be, we want to make sure everyone is in, has an opportunity to be part of it. Um, the Mayor's Holiday Special is a great way to support the arts and culture scene as well in the city. And here in Boston, we're proud to have a thriving arts uh, center and scene, if you will, in the city. The holiday festivals are, are with great performances from, for artists and designers to showcase their talent. And there's a great way for people to get out of their routines and engage in the arts and explore our city. So it's a win all around for the, what we can do here in the city. Um, as is every year, ultimate goal is to make sure getting out is easier, uh, affordable, and fun for, for the entire city, no matter wh wh who you are, where you live, uh, or what your budget is. Uh, the last year was a great success, and just so people get a little bit of understanding of what this means, this kickoff today, what this means, this means that last year, over 2 million people attended the shows in our city. It brought more than $54 million back into our local economy. And we expect that this year will be uh, no less than that. Uh, this year, the Mayor's Holiday Special is going to run until January 1st, until New Year's Day. Uh, we've got thousands of great deals of over 500 different shows. We have dining uh, offers uh, in uh, 30 of our different great restaurants in the city. We we'll also have an online calendar of free activities and events, so we, we encourage people to go online and look and look it up and see what's available. There's something for everyone of all ages in our city. Uh, those free events that we're going to have some free events as well, and they start uh, the Boston Common Tree Lighting on December 1st. Uh, it's a great event in the city. Exciting. We have some surprises there. We're kicking off the Mayor's Enchanted uh, Trolley Tour around the city of Boston on uh, December 2nd to the 4th, where it says in my card over 20 locations, but it seems like more like 200 locations that we're going to do. So I think that's a misprint. But I invite everyone to visit the mayorsholiday.com uh, site or visit the Boston Ticks locations at Faneuil Hall, Copley Square, uh, to learn more about the great activities we have in our city. I hope that everyone takes advantage of these special op op um, opportunities uh, to try different events, visit new neighborhoods. And what's exciting is you heard uh, the Nutcracker is also going to be at the Strand Theater in Uppins Corner. So we're talking about in, in taking, taking our tour kind of around the city of Boston in different neighborhoods. The Enchanter Trolley will be in every single neighborhood in the city of Boston. So it really is about being part of the action, whether it's in your neighborhood or downtown. Um, so I want to thank you uh, for the opportunity. I hope that uh, many of you here, but the, the people of our city and the people that come into our city will be able to talk about new holiday memories um, that, that can be connected to our city. I want to hope all of you have a wonderful, happy, and safe Thanksgiving, holiday season, Christmas, whatever you celebrate, enjoy it. And to all the young people here, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you very, very much to Mayor Walsh for all you do for the city of Boston and all you do to support the arts here in Boston. David and I talk about all the time how lucky we are to live here in Boston and to have the jobs we have to wake everybody up every morning and it's just the best place to live. Mm. So thank you very much. From uh, December 1st through the 18th, right here in this theater at the Paramount Theater, you can see an amazing production of uh, Langston Hughes gospel play, Black Nativity, here to share a bit, uh, share a bit of that. Uh, performance with us and the production with us today is uh, Jermaine Tulloch and Stephen Hunter, who are going to perform uh, No Room from Black Nativity. So, Jermaine and Stephen.
it was according to the word. There was a virgin girl, her name was Mary, the mother of Jesus. She was wandering around at night. She was searching for a home for my Savior to be born. But there was no room. Wow. 
Uh, Jermaine and Stephen, thank you so, so much. And just to remind us that Langston Hughes' production of Black Nativity is going to be performed right here at the Paramount Center um, from December 1st to December 18th. And if you haven't gotten your tickets yet, run and get them right now. Uh, next, I'd like to introduce um, my wonderful friend and colleague from the Greater Boston Convention and Visitors Bureau, Kathy Doran. Thank you, Kathy. Well, after that performance, everything I say, I don't think will be as significant. But anyway, I think good day is in order. I think we're right around the morning and afternoon. And again, I want to thank Catherine and Mayor Walsh. And the Bureau is very, the Greater Boston Convention and Visitors Bureau is very proud to be a partner for the last 13 years with Arts Boston and the Mayor's Office. Um, again, we want to thank the Highland um, Foundation for being the presenting sponsor for Mayor, Mayor's Holiday, and, as well as the arts community and the restaurant community for your role in increasing the visibility of Boston's holiday season, as well as bringing awareness to our wonderful cultural offerings all year round. As Catherine mentioned earlier, we do have a restaurant uh, voucher program that we added in 2010 as a way for the public to take advantage of all the great restaurants in Boston, either before or after a performance. It's so simple. You spend $40 at one of the 30 participating restaurants and you receive $10 off your bill. That excludes the tax, gratuity, and alcohol. La last year, close to 5,000 restaurant vouchers were downloaded, and with the increased number of restaurants participating this year, we anticipate there will be more than 5,000 um, opportunities for people to go out and, and visit and take part in, um, in stopping at one of the 30 restaurants, which include um, seafood, Boston classic restaurants, steakhouses, family friendly, and many more. Some restaurant for everybody. So be sure to go to mayorsholiday.com and download a restaurant voucher. Uh, the Mayor's Holiday Special offers visitors and residents a great opportunity to experience Boston's phenomenal arts and culture scene during the festive holiday season, while at the same time boosting the city's economic base. So go, as I said, go on mayorsholiday.com, buy a couple of tickets, download a restaurant voucher or two, and enjoy the holidays. Thank you. Thank you, Kathy. All right, we have another treat for you. Next up, we have the Back Bay Ringers Quartet. This is just part of their full ensemble that will perform six concerts during the month of December and will also be a guest artist for the Boston Pops Holiday Gala on December 7th. Okay, they are going to uh, play a holiday tune for us. I th and I think you guys are gonna come here in front. Can, can we ask um, you guys maybe to switch over to the, to the left side so they, just so they can have room to come in front of you. And, and they're going to actually get a little bit of help from uh, Mayor Walsh. I think you're aware of this. I hope you're aware of this, <laughs> Mayor Walsh, uh, on this particular tune. So they're going to be right here. Thank you to the Back Bay Rivers Quartet. And we learned today that Mayor Walsh has some hidden talents. Um, we want to thank all of you for coming today. We want to encourage each of you to explore all of the shows this holiday season. Visit mayorholiday.com and create some amazing memory memories with your family and friends. Yeah, big thank you to all the uh, artists and performers here with us today. A round of applause for everybody for coming here today. Thank you all. To close us out, we have the, uh, the Boston Pops Brass Quintet, members of the Boston Pops Symphony Orchestra that will be presenting Holiday Pops at Symphony Hall uh, throughout the holiday season, just one of the great events. Please enjoy. Thank you all for coming, and happy holidays, happy one holidays. and all. Thank you. Thank you.